Jen. Hope everyone's having a good day. I have just a few things to share. The first is a Valentine's Day card that I made and I seem to be pretty into making Valentine's Day stuff this year. I think it's because um, I was pretty sick in December and didn't get to do a whole lot for Christmas so all of a sudden I wanted to do all this stuff for Valentine's Day. So um, I made this and just made this pocket and added, this is um, I believe some Kay & Company um, little flourish paper and then I have some of the Graphic 45 Time in Place or Place in Time it's called. I'll show you the paper real quick. Um, I just bought some individual sheets of the February cutouts. Um, really pretty images um, to use in any type of Valentine's Day project. And this is the place and time. I believe there's a couple different sheets for each month. So like I said, I just bought the a couple of the February pieces of the cutouts. And so you can see those here and the little sentiments and this little strip in the background. I just put some crocheted lace behind and then made this little tag out of lightweight chipboard and just covered the front and back of it. That's another piece from the collection and added some glitter to it. And then this was a stamp I had and um, I just got my Copic markers which I'll share in a little bit but I did you know was just practicing doing some blending with the stamp and to make it coordinate with the Graphic 45 paper um, I used um, a few of the brown shades and then did some blending there so I think that came out pretty well to make it coordinate and then just a couple more images or one image of another stamp from the collection and this was a Tim Holtz cutout um, used that um, with just some uh, piece of a uh, piece from a box a corrugated box and use some glitter mist on that. So I am going to send this with my husband down to Baltimore. Um, his sister has been very ill actually and has been in the hospital for an extended period of time so I thought so that tucks in there and then I, I went yesterday and got a little easel frame so she can put that in her room hopefully um, oh, and I also made this little burlap flower. Um, just kind of inked it up and put some glimmer glam on there. But she'll be able to put that in her room somewhere, and then hopefully later on I can send her, you know, something to change out and put in there um, after February passes. So that's that. And then I made some more art tiles. And oh, also I was. I'm going to see if I can get this to focus. I've been using my iPhone for videoing and it's just, I have a really hard time getting it to focus. See, like it won't focus on the little words. When I have the, when I have it not filming, it'll focus just fine. But now that I'm filming, it like it doesn't really focus very well. So if you have a camera, um, a video camera, a regular video camera that you use for filming and I'm looking for something that's not too too expensive um, if you would share the information because I think I do want to get something where I can zoom in a little closer and have it focus well but in any case these are some little art tiles um, that I've made recently and I'll pick up this one in particular and see if I can get it to focus and it says a little bird told me on it and I wanted to share where I got these images from. They are from these Crafty Secrets um, little image folders and so let's see if I can get the whole thing in there. It has some of the little words on it and it's um, it folds in half. It's got two sheets that come attached and they have beautiful images on both sides so much so that <laughs> I originally had a hard time cutting it but you just have to I guess like the image of this bee I love but then it has the images that you cut out on the other side so I think what I have to do is just get some more of them 
Um, but this is the Crafty Secrets, and this one is um, called Mini Vintage. And then I have another one that I got that is um, Alter, it's called Altered Fairies. And so, great for mixed media or for whatever you want to cut them out and use them for. But again, the insides are just as beautiful. So, and then what I did with these is just covered the little, I got little wooden tiles, covered them with the paper, and then used some metallic paints and my inks and some of the, my glitter pens to, um, to do the sides and the edges and um, covered it with the, um, what is it, the super gloss or the, the high gloss um, Mod Podge. And then just did a little bit of inking around. Um, I actually used um, the Copic Multiliners to do some inking around the edge, edges of the words. So that's those. And then, so I was very excited. I finally got my Copics. They came last week. Um, I got 50 of them to start out with. And I did pick my own colors just after looking at a lot of what people used um, on YouTube and watching a lot of videos about how to color with them. Um, so it looks like my daughter's been in here. <laughs> um, I started off by getting a, really a lot from the skin tones and for the hair coloring um, as well as five of the cool grays um, as my basics for that. And then Picked two or three from each color family to start with, and as well as some of the multi liners. And what I realized right away is that I need to get um, some of the zero zero colors. Like I do have the BV zero zero, but these lighter tones are what it is appearing to me that you need for some of the lighter highlighting when you're when you're blending. So that's going to be my next purchase, but have plenty to kind of start out with and I'll show you a couple of the things I did. I'm very a little bit of a perfectionist and very hard on myself. I want them pictures to be perfect right away and I know they're not going to be and I know it's going to take some time. I um, It's a lot of fun to play with these but it um, it is you know it's not it's not easy. It's going to take some practice. I know this. So um, this is one of the ones I just did recently um, love this image of these little girls sharing their valentines and I think it came out pretty well did find it harder to do the, the bigger areas um, and again I wanted to have some lighter highlighting and I just I, um, I think I was able to get that a little bit more on her hat but I think I need to get some of those lighter colors as well Definitely had some issues with this little one's leggings. I didn't like the color they were, and so then I changed it to a different color, but I think I needed to let it dry in between because it was too much. This is the the cryogen um, paper, and it was just too much, you know, color all at once, and it really started bleeding outside her leggings, which I, to some degree, was able to fix with the colorless blender and then by adding some shadowing, so... That's that, and then I'll show you. This was my first one I did, um, and just trying to learning learn how to do some of the blending. I do like the way that her shirt came out, but um, yeah, definitely a lot to learn. This image, oh, I just love this image for Valentine's Day. This was just, I like her just, this is on some gray, like metallic paper. I just stamped her in black. I love that, but I did color her up too on some Bristol paper and came out fairly well for a beginner, I guess. And then this is Creeper Abbey. Um, I actually just ordered, I ordered stamps from like six different places, like kind of all over the world. They're coming from everywhere. <laughs> but just ordered a few like images that I, you know, personally liked. And my daughter loved this um, uh, Creeper Abbey. So I was working on her hair and her skin and need to work a little bit on the skin tones and so my daughter who's 11 she's been playing with them too and um, just having a ball um, obviously we have <laughs> a lot of bleeding going on here but we're learning as we go and um, I love the way she did her hair <laughs> 
So I think that's all I have to share right now. And um, we'll be back with definitely sharing some more Valentines that I'm making. And then um, hopefully can share with you some of the coloring and learning a lot from everyone. I appreciate so much um, all of the Copic videos that are out there so you can kind of learn learn as we go here. But have a great day and I'll talk to everyone soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.